in Atlanta. I'm walking out of the club. <laughs> it's a rough place to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. We walking out of this club, this altercation breaks out. There's a bunch of people out there, these fighting break out. My limo is the only limo that's sitting in front of this club, fighting everywhere, 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 everywhere. Then gunshots ring. 14 gunshots hit the side of my limo. We drove off. We got back to the hotel. And the message was on the news. We are looking for a black limousine navigator in connection to a double homicide. Two men were brutally stabbed to death. Wow. I was definitely accused of double murder. I was falsely accused of double murder, actually. And uh, they arrested me that morning in front of all three of my sons, which is the hardest thing to ever do is to fight for your freedom in front of your family. And the first night I was in jail, a whisper came to my ear, and it said, can you hear me now? And that's the only time, the real time, that I heard God that clearly. I'm always disturbed in my spirit on how people look at me from that instance, because those families that was affected will never know the truth. And that's sad. They still didn't find the people who done that. They never had an ounce of evidence of this. And that's when I knew, no matter where I was, no matter how low I had been in my life, by any means necessary, I will prove, not just to myself, to my family, to my children, to my fans. I gotta get something done. Because if y'all that bold to put my reputation on the line, then I'm as bold as you are to fight for it. We done been here three years in a row. And we let this team off the hook. Make sure something tonight ain't taking you away from this moment, man. Cause that's all we got. That's what y'all don't realize most of the time. We don't get this again. We don't get this again. The clock runs too fast. That's why we got to savor these moments. Cause they right now. I couldn't understand that when I was 24 and 25. That's why God had to incarcerate me. So I could see how great my blessing was that he had for me. So I had to come from a jail cell being in position. To then step on a Super Bowl podium, man. I don't do this for me. I just, I watch enough films so I can put myself in position to make my defense the best defense in damn football. That's why I come back every year. I'm trying to tell y'all, God has never made a mistake. <coughs> He's never made one mistake. All right? So it ain't about one play, it ain't about nothing. This year, we did what we were supposed to do. We fought as a team. We fought as a team. There will be one Super Bowl champ crowned at the end of this year. That's it. So the way we feel, somebody going to feel like that tomorrow, and somebody going to feel like that in a week. That's a fact. And the fact is, we got to come back and go to work to make sure we finish it next time. That's all we got to do. Joe, you played your ass off. You hear me, man? I'm telling you, man. Don't ever, don't ever drop your head when it comes to a loss, dog. Because there's too much pain outside of this that people really going through. This right here makes us strong. Let's understand who we are as a team. Let's understand who we are as men. And let's make somebody smile when we walk out of here. We got an opportunity to keep going, man. Let's be strong as a team, man. Let's be who we are. Ravens on three. One, two, three! Ravens! Let me tell you something. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you get for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'll give everything in your heart for? 
we get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave. Leave your legacy. And it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, that think what they see on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. And ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do tonight. Sir. We ain't got to worry about taking no breaks. Sir.